Hello YouTube, so this is uh, Tiger Guitar Part 3. Um, I'm going to have to make a long video to make installments on this. But uh, last night, I pretty much did the neck and got all the colors done to the neck. Uh, this thing turned out really, really, really good. I, I'm liking it. Um, I'm very really excited about the way the colors blended. Like I said, I was using the Montana Gold. I was using um, this stuff. This Montana Gold and uh, last night, so I finished getting the body done. This is the back, and I wasn't going to do the front and the back, but then I decided, well, you know, that was half-assed, so um, I have everything done. And uh, this took hours. I think this masking job took at least four to five hours. Um, three hours last night, another hour today, and, um, you know, there was a couple of little delays and everything. Let me flip this over so you can see the front. Uh, that's the front and then everything should turn out pretty nice like this. I'm actually going to take this outside and shoot it and I've never set up a camera outside but I uh, don't want to rob you guys of the experience and it's just, it's just something to watch. I notice that whenever I watch videos on YouTube they're just they go by in two minutes, three minutes. Um, you know when I learn some I just like to have a long video it kind of helps me out. So I'm going to take this outside, set it up on my stand, shoot it um, we're going to be using three colors of spray paint. This could be a lengthy video, like there might be very, I might have to edit this one so there's like scene by scene by scene, but um, stick in there and thank you guys for watching. Anybody who, you know, wants to do their version of Tiger Stripe and uh, I really like this guitar, so. Um, this is scene one and I'll go outside, set it up, I'll shake this spray paint all down, you'll see how I shoot it and this and this and that. Um, like I said, it's just a video, so. Let's go outside and check it out. Okay, YouTube, so we're outside, and uh, I just hit everything with alcohol, kind of a dust uh, dust and uh, grease remover. So I'm going to coat the whole guitar, um, duplicolor, what is this, Rust-Oleum, double coverage, uh, Ultra Touch. Give me a second, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the first couple of coats. We're going to get this thing yellow, and then we're going to step to... Um, a kind of mid-tone orange to yellow and then finally a, we're going to puff it with a dark uh, orange. should turn out good. So here you go.
Okay, so that was the first coat. You can go ahead and let that sit. If I see any dark marks, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again yellow, and then uh, we'll move to the next ones. Okay, when we're back, we're gonna go ahead and apply the uh, the light gold. Uh, that's uh, the between color between orange and yellow, so. And uh, we're going to be using this, uh, this is that Montana Gold. Uh, this stuff is really, really good. I recommend it. It's kind of expensive, but it's pretty good. So, um, let me go ahead and focus the camera. And I'll try to give you guys a close-up. Like I said, we're doing this. Um, I'm coating every 20, 30 minutes between uh, coats or something.
Okay, so that was all of the uh, mid-tone gold. I'll go ahead and uh, get a close up on that. Okay, so as you can see, as you can see it's uh, yellow on the outsides. Very slight amount of gold. And uh, okay, on to the next step. Okay, and we're back. Sorry, um, I have a sorry. I got a respirator on, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply the very slightest of um, orange, and then we're going to take this inside and take the tape off quick before it starts drying too bad. And so, uh, let me hit this up real quick. Okay, and that'll do it. I'm going to take it inside and uh, start stripping her down. I think I like the coverage. I went on, on the outside and added the yellow back that kind of went out of bounds. I got a little scared there for a second. You saw me jump into the paint booth, so uh, that'll do it. I'm going to take the stuff off and let it dry, and uh, I'll see you guys back inside. Okay, so I'm back inside, and I, I got my uh, hanger right here. This guitar has been drying for about 20 minutes. And I started taking the tape off like I'm not having any problems taking the tape off. I have a little bit of overspray, nothing's, some of it's flawless, some of it uh, needs a little bit of touch up and I think what I was going to do is use a black marker for that. Um, see, see areas like that, black marker, I'll just go ahead and touch it up with the flat. But anyways, it's looking amazing. It's not, it's dry and I have it hanging, but uh, you know, to take the tape off, I'm kind of putting my hand in this cavity to stabilize it and then I'm using an X-Acto knife to pull very tiny edges and then I'm uh, peeling the tape off and there's still a lot of tape to go, but I thought I'd document this part 
and uh, just show you how how good this is turning out this is the back sorry and um, this is the front and I'm, I'm loving the way this is turning out I just have to keep peeling this tape off like pretty quick I don't want it to dry on there too long so um, you know I'm just watching some conspiracy theories on YouTube and just zoning out the world um, this is turning out really good I'll put this in the video or I'll just keep it as an update